Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 10 of Over the Moon for You. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. What's up, NASA? <laughs> okay. Of course, I think anybody would be grateful for that, but there is a but. <laughs> well, I mean, at least you have something. It's better than nothing. She's cooking for him. Isn't this? Yeah, this would be like what the first meal she's kind of cooked for him. So, you know, expectations are high. Hopefully it's good because, you know, you want to please your husband or a significant other. But it's also good, you know, if Nasa makes something for her. I'm just saying. You know, the wife shouldn't just be in the kitchen all the time cooking. It should be a 50 50. Just saying. Because I know my future husband, surely as hell, is not going to make me cook all the fucking time. We're going to take turns. Oh, is she probably going to feed it to him? Oh, my God, stop it. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's up? Hmm? Oh. Well, yeah. You just wash it, you do what you normally do. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Okay, go ahead. Is it good? Yes, yeah, so every once in a while. <laughs> oh. I mean, you know, that sounds highly sexual, but you know, okay. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> the things that I'll probably end up being saying to my future husband. <laughs> Oh, damn. 
哦。Yeah, I mean, you know, you're still newlyweds. Good. Huh? Y'all making me want some melon, but you know, I don't like watermelon, but this that looks so good. Or some honeydew. Oh my god. Come on, two cans. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, that was cute. So it's your turn to get fed. Of course. Now you feed him again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she right though, but. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, let's go see. Um, yeah, they had to. <laughs> You're right, though. I know, oh my god, look how, mm, they look so pretty, and like, the door is probably smooth as hell, like, oh, and it's a big door, too. Oh, look how spacious, you can see the whole view, oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at the bed! <laughs> It's a jacuzzi. Oh my god. I know. I want that.
Of course. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You just have to work hard. No. Exactly. You feel the same way too? Oh, they so adorbs. Like, oh, so fucking cute. Hmm? What's up? Excuse me. Jesus, five thirty. You know, sometimes that's when I'm going to bed. Probably late tonight, because it's now one thirty and almost one thirty in the morning. <laughs> but you're out here, dude. <laughs> But you like her, right? I mean... Oh, that makes sense. I like seeing these two vine. It's sweet. Excuse me. Hmm? Oh, 
kind of. Enough, huh? <laughs> yep. Like, yeah, what would you like for breakfast? Yes. Like, do you want some eggs? Um, sausage, maybe? Some rice? Um, mm, bacon? Uh, uh. Cute little deep. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, Kana's mom is worse than Kana. Cody, did you just put your... <laughs> My dog. Oh. Yeah. It's okay. 
okay. Ah. Uh. You could embrace her from behind. Oh! <laughs> I'm almost done, go. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go. Go play. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> this was such a cute little walk slash date. Oh. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> oh, I mean, seriously, that was so adorable. They're so fucking cute. Like, oh my god. Honestly, them going to, you know, an extravagant apartment together and just kind of seeing it, even though it wasn't the exact, well, example room, but it was okay. It was nice. It was sweet. They were just so fucking cute together. I mean, oh, I can't with them. They, they're they just like, okay, I like to call them the awkward couple, but it suits them. Not in a bad way, more in a good way. You know, like just the first little awkward moments and dates and everything. And they're just so cute, but they're, they're like, they're so shy. It works for them so fucking cute but honestly i cannot wait to see how their new apartment looks maybe by next week we get to see something because we are very close to the end of this series and honestly i don't want it to end the funny thing was i think what i went to the store um about like two three days ago and i went to barnes and nobles and i haven't been in a barnes and nobles in like years like oh my god they used to be my store and I did see volume one of this and honestly I could have gotten it but you know um I didn't maybe next time how maybe I usually buy all my books my manga books from Amazon because it's just so like quick fast in a hurry and plus sometimes I don't really feel like driving down to where I have to go just to go to Barnes and Nobles because where I have to go is the outlet mall and it's only like a five ten minute drive but you know your girl always don't feel like going out there and driving because uh people here are stupid drivers i'm just saying but this was a cute episode i mean honestly just also seeing sukasa and um kind of bond really was honestly nice and that was something that i really really wanted because since nasa has a relationship with both of them it's nice for his wife and someone who he really just not relates to but like you know has a really good relationship for these two to bond because you know it's almost like how with any other when you're me when your significant other is meeting your family you want your significant other to have a bond with your not only your parents but your other family so like your sister your brother your extended family before you want to move on into that relationship whether that is marriage or you two possibly moving in together or whatever. But even though they, you know, 
<laughs> Nas and Sukasa did this differently, it's okay. I still love them for doing what they did. Honestly, I just, I can't wait. I mean, them even eating melon together was so cute. And him feeding her because she fed him the last time. But I still would have liked it if she fed him again. The fact that she also cooked for him was sweet. And I now really want to see Nasa cook. But I don't know. I mean, usually 50 out of 50. Let's just talk about this real quick. Because if the female can cook... And then when the guy cooks, you find out the guy sucks. So maybe. I feel like right now, yeah. Nas is probably not as good as cooking as I think he possibly could be. But we ain't gonna really know until we get an episode where he is possibly cooking. But if we do get an episode, maybe he might cook like the best meal ever. And she will love it so freaking good. To the point where I might cry and be like, can I have some? Because God, you know, food is food. And when you are hungry, you just want it. <laughs> Because honestly, what she made and that melon, that melon looked so effing good. I'm like, oh my god, like, that's a food gasm right there. Though. I'm like, mm. I shouldn't be hungry, but no. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 10 of Over the Moon for you. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday, Saturday for episode 11. Bye, guys.